Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Dell Latitude 113190. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplug from your charger. We're then going to flip your computer over to access our bottom case screws. After removing all seven screws, you're going to take a small, flat, plastic pry tool and go around the seam of the bottom case to pry it off from the rest of the computer. It's generally easier to start near the rear, near one of the two hinge assemblies, work your way in one direction, and if you get stuck, leave it, start on the other side, and go in the other direction. Also, be careful not to put your pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it on the edge, go nice and slow and careful but firm, and you'll be able to get that bottom case off. Once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model, the 3190, there will be a link above. Also below in the description, it will have all those tools and supplies and the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer. Now before I touch anything in a laptop, I always remove or at least unplug the battery. Computers are safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through them. The battery is right here near the bottom of my screen. It's held in by three screws near the red arrows. It plugs into the motherboard here near the green arrow. And there's a piece of black tape near the blue arrow that you have to undo to get that battery out. As far as the plug goes to unplug it, this goes for any wires or cables in a computer. Don't pull on the actual wire if you can help it, just manipulate the plug. If you pull on wires, sometimes it can damage them or it can pull the wires right out of the plug. So in this case is a grip on either side of that battery plug. You can use your fingernails or a pry tool to wiggle that right out of that port. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed or again, at least unplugged, we can proceed deeper into the computer. Your CMOS battery is right up here near the top left of my screen. It's wrapped in black electrical tape and plugs into the motherboard right here above your solid state drive. Now, if you're looking to replace this, uh, it's very easy. That's just held on by double-sided tape. You can pop that off very easily. And I will have a replacement CMOS battery below in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts for this model computer. If you're here to reset BIOS, you don't need to take that battery up. You can leave it down. Just unplug it from the motherboard right here. Leave it unplugged for maybe 15, 20 seconds. And that should be sufficient to reset your BIOS system settings. Now again, don't pull on the wire. You can break it out of the plug. Just use your fingernails or a pry tool and wiggle that plug out of that port. Uh, one side note with this BIOS reset operation, in most cases, this will only reset your BIOS system settings, not your BIOS password. I will have more information about BIOS password resets below in the description. And I guess the last thing I can mention about this kind of an operation BIOS resetting like this is a common troubleshooting step if your computer is not turning on. If that's why you're here and you want help finding out why your computer isn't turning on, there will be a video link below in the description. That will be the full troubleshooting process I use in my shop for a laptop that doesn't turn on. But that's the end of this video, how to get inside your Latitude 113190 and access your CMOS battery. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions. I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.